What is up, my Squirtleites? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Forza Horizon 2. In the last episode, we just about finished up the entire, entirety excuse me, of the Sports Utility Championship here in Montalino. And in this episode, we're going to take a look at our new Jeep, the Jeep Willy. Let's have a look at this thing. I don't know how good this will be for racing, but it's a nice piece of equipment if you're going off-road. Oh. It's so cool to be driving a piece of history. I'm gonna make it a good a good racing vehicle. Just watch me. I wanna see what the upgrade limit on this thing is really quickly before we go any further. Auto upgrade. A. Okay, I wanna see how much of a difference this makes. So <laughs> really I can still only get 182 horsepower out of it? Are you kidding me? Oh, come on. Okay, maybe I should go to class B then. Can I at least get it pretty close? Ah, oh, man, I was really hoping I could get it a lot faster than that. Well, we could probably still have some fun with this thing. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna upgrade it. We're going to put it up to class B. And then I'll do some tinkering around with it off screen. Um, but uh, for now, I think we should just stick with it. Well, obviously, we're going to stick with our BMW. We still got one more race left to do. Um, but I will definitely do some stuff with that Jeep. And I will... I will make it fun. I will make it fun, and we will we will try to win a tournament with that thing. All right, let's get out of here. And so our last race, it appears, is all the way up here at the it's the North Lake Trail, which this will be a this will be definitely be a fun race. So let's get on over there. It's actually quite a ways out there, um, but you know it's you know I haven't noticed that a lot of I haven't really had a lot of bucket lists uh, lately. Um, oh, I think... Hold on. I do have a wheel spin. Let's do that really quickly before we go any further. Let's take a look and see what we get. Oh, come on. I just skipped the big bonus. Okay, well, how many bucket lists do I have left to do? Uh, I only got one left on the Horizon bucket list. Okay. And there's the second one, which I haven't even opened it yet. Where are these at? So I got a... I got a few that are open, apparently, but I haven't actually done them. Um, I guess we'll have to... We'll, we'll work about work on that at some point um, in the future. Uh, when we when we get the event to do our ad, I will start doing that once we start taking a break. I think we're going to do probably one or two more championships before we jump on into our event door and go cruising around the country. But uh, for now, let's finish up this one. And then maybe, and then I think our probably our next one will either head to Nice or San Martin, one of the two. Maybe San Giovanni, I don't know. But, oh my gosh, we are just flying down this trail. Look at this. Look at this vehicle actually, like, it, ha I, I am so shocked at how well it handles. Like, I don't know. I think I'm just so used to how much I hate using SUVs in racing games from Midnight Club and games like that. And actually, I hate them in, um... Well, I'm going to miss that speed zone entirely, aren't I? Um, trying to think of other games that I've used SUVs in, but I've just, I've always hated the way they handle, but gosh dang, in Forza Horizon, they actually, it actually feels really good. Like, I can, I can guarantee you that 99% of the crashes that I've been in this vehicle have not been because I can't get used to the handling. They're just because I'm being a reckless doofus. I promise you that. All right, I'm just going to hop up this way. It off-roads well. It handles nice. It's actually got some good get up and go to it. Good speed acceleration. It, the only thing I could probably say is it doesn't break the best. Like it's probably got that's probably the worst aspect of the vehicle is that its braking is pretty terrible. But aside from that, it's it's pretty great. It's pretty great to use this thing. I gotta say. Let's finish off this championship, hopefully with style. All right, we are still locked in on that pro difficulty, so this is going to be a challenging race. That is a heck of a decal. Wow. Look like something in MS Paint. Here we go. All right, this is going to be a tough one. Oh, boy. You know, all these Drivatars are definitely on the higher end. That's for darn sure, although I am passing them up pretty easily right now. Like I said, this BMW, it, it kind of kicks some butt. Okay, unless I'm doing that. That is not... Okay, the geometry screwed me there. That was not a good start. I'm glad I got that push. I got I stuck on like some sort of piece of metal that was jutting out from that fence, and it freaking slowed me down big time. All right, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. I am absolutely going to use you. Oh, there we go. Crimson Demons. 
It has the exact same paint job as some other Drivatar that I saw earlier in that Escalade because they're not the most creative at using anything but like the top one or two designs from the recommends tab. I mean, granted, neither am I because it's mostly what I end up picking whenever I get a new vehicle. Uh, okay, that was too much. That was too much. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. That, actually, the braking wasn't that bad this time. I mean, I, I do again, I do feel like the, the braking on this vehicle is... It leaves a lot to be desired, for sure. So, uh, that's why sometimes on the, some of these turns, I, I do end up going flying in a lot more than I mean to. Like, I am braking, but sometimes it's just not enough. Right, we just need to pass up Gnarly Diamonds. If we can, he is, he is staying ahead of me pretty good, though, right now. There we go. There we go. Okay, we're good. And we just need to maintain this positioning. Glad I didn't miss that checkpoint. All right, everything's fine. We're just we're just going up the mountain right now. Up, up, up we go. Right, they are right behind me. But if I can just get if I can get ahead of him on a straightaway here, that would be very helpful. Oh, that's oh that's I needed a break. I needed a break there, and I didn't break. Gosh dang it! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! That's right, push me! Don't you dare! You are not passing me. Uh uh. All right, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, that could have been really bad. I almost flipped my vehicle. Okay, okay, that was not good. That was not ideal. I definitely uh, panicked there. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. We got to pass him. We got to pass him. We're almost at the end. This is definitely the home stretch. I am going to use this turn right here to hopefully rip him a new one. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> that was so dirty, but it worked. It actually worked really well. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. They are still really close, though. Oh, no, I got this. I got this. I got this. Woo! Ah. Oh, wow. That's one way to pull ahead. No, oh, sure, I sure did. I freaking cheated at the end. <laughs> awesome. Yep, just seven more. All right, I think if we can get down to when we have five left, then we will be taking a break from championships. Here we go. Got some good experience, some good CR. Almost to level 36, and let's continue. All right, I don't know if you got the memo, but the next showcase is starting soon. Meet me here. I see. I was not expecting that. We're going to go up against a balloon? Okay. Well, this is, this is definitely going to be interesting. Let's head on over there. Excuse me, Gnarly Diamonds, my my arch nemesis, my rival that I keep running into all of a sudden. I, have, I honestly have no idea what tournament I want to jump into next. Um, I've got a few things in mind, a few, a uh, little bit of faster paced tournaments in mind, but uh, we'll definitely have to see. Uh, I guess it all depends on where we're going next before I make that deliberation. But uh, I'm, I'm excited about this showcase. I honestly... Don't remember this one. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to challenge them. Thanks, though. Really appreciate it. I like how I just knocked him out of the way, though. Like, yeah, I marked him on his GPS. No, I'm not going to race him. It slams into him instead. <laughs> uh, and we definitely need to start tackling more of these bucket lists as well. Here in the very near future. I mean, I guess it all depends on where they're positioned. Holy cow. What the heck was he driving? I honestly have no clue. It looks like everyone's hopped in their hypercars now. There we go. And I just beast this trail every single time I go down it. I don't know how it happens. It's pretty cool though. Unless they, unless people decide they want to go in my way like that. Because uh, they're a bunch of jerk faces. It's freaking rude. Okay. Really? Do I need the speed zone? Do I need this? Every time I get into a speed zone, I feel like it just automatically makes my driving like 10 times worse. I don't know why that is, but anyway, we're done with that. Okay, let's do this thing. 37 versus 37. Be oh, we're about to give you several balloons. 37 balloons, you say. Wait a minute. How does this work? up to and overtake all 37 of them to win this one that they're they're balloons though they don't really got that much speed to them but okay here we go 
How, do, how can you even, like, tell if I'm, like, racing against them or not? I mean, I guess they are in front of me. So I basically just got to pass the balloons. That's all I got to do. They're, even though they're not moving, I just got to, like, they're moving to the right. That's basically it, though. I just got to pass. Oh, I guess, I guess they are moving. Okay, I guess they are moving. I was wrong all along. All right, we're going, we're going. Oh, this, this, I don't like the way the Stradale handles. Okay. We're fine, we're fine. Everything's fine. They actually are passing me now, so that's, that's good. Passed one, okay. So, oh, one of them is like, I'm like on the edge of, of passing one. There we go. We're up in 32nd, 31st. I don't want to pay attention to the position number too much. I just want to drive. And hopefully if I drive completely clean, I just end up with a number one in the, in the top right corner. There we go. There we go. I'm actually doing pretty well. Uh, don't want to jinx it, obviously, but um, slow it down a little bit. There we go. Oh, that's some braking. See, that braking is a lot better than the BMW I've been using. Holy cow. It's a That's a night and day difference. Oh, jeez. Okay, back on the road. Back on the road. Back on the road. Back on the road. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's exactly why, because I knew that was coming up. Because this is exactly the same exact area I raced in in the last race. Oh, we need to go. That was bad. That was really bad. Catch up. Go, go, go. I know it's a showcase, and these are very hard to lose, but still. Go, go, go. There's still several of them off in the very far distance. They're, like, way ahead. Basically, this entire thing is just an excuse to see a bunch of hot air balloons, but then to also see a car go fast. Like, that's really what this showcase is. Like, can we be real about that for a second? I don't get me wrong. Hot air balloons are cool. I'd never ride in one, but they're certainly interesting pieces of machinery and it's cool watching them all fly, fly in the sky and you got all the pretty colors and stuff like that you know on top of what's already going on in a festival they're nice they're they're eye pleasing for sure okay we're going a little bit too crazy oh a little too fast too oh gosh i almost nailed a tree there we're fine we're in fifth all right so we just got to pass the rest of these balloons fourth Oh, here we go. We got it. We're not going to make it. Oh, hey, we did it. Yeah. Showcases are kind of hard to lose, but, uh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, okay. So you knew that already. But this way, we did an awesome race to prove it. This pilots and vehicle balloons. Okay, can I unlock those, please? Because I'd like to fly around this game in a balloon, honestly. I think that'd be pretty fun. All right, there we go. Got some good CR. Got some good experience. Honestly, less than I usually get in the races. But hey, we can do a wheel spin after this. Awesome. All right, that's it for this championship. Regroup at the Montalino Hub when you're ready, and we'll move on to the next leg of this road trip. Now, where is that at? Nice. Okay, so we are definitely going to do some uh, road centric, um, some road centric uh, vehicle in the next one. But before we end this episode, I'm going to spin for a prize. In the next episode, I'm going to meet you guys at the Montalino Hub, and we will be deciding what vehicle we are going to use next. I have been getting actually nothing but decidedly worse wheel spins ever since unlocking that perk. Can we, can we like, just, like, think about that for a second and how kind of bullcrap that is? I don't freaking know. Regardless, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Forza Horizon 2. I hope you all enjoyed it very, very much, and I will see you all in the next one.